With the introduction of AMD's latest Ryzen 2 series processor, they've also introduced a brand new X470 Enthusiast mid-range chipset. And as always, ASUS and ROG are committed to bringing you a brand new Enthusiast Gaming motherboard option with the brand new Strix X470-F Gaming. So who's the Strix X470-F gaming for? Well, this is gonna be a perfect board for those of you who are looking to be able to build either a brand new system for the first time, or you're possibly looking to be able to go ahead and refresh a system that you've had for a few years. Now, when it comes to a motherboard now, users are definitely talking about aesthetics. The overall look and feel for a motherboard has become increasingly more important for those of you that are looking for the right board for your build. And when we've talked about the Strix series boards in the past, we've really set a benchmark in terms of the overall aesthetic design. And this board definitely follows suit and offers a really clean, simple, monochromatic color scheme. So if you're looking to be able to go ahead and have a red theme build, blue, green, purple, the choice is yours. And of course, with this board featuring ASUS or Sync technology, you're gonna have full flexibility and support to be able to define the color choices via, of course, the integrated RGB lighting, as well as extending it through tons of connectivity. Now, when we talk about integrated RGB lighting, you've got a couple of different choices. You, of course, have the integrated RGB lighting that's built onto the IO shroud itself, but then you have actually three headers. There's gonna be two standard RGB headers, as well as one full digital addressable header. And we're also really excited to say that the Aura team have really been working extensively to be able to open up the Aura SDK platform and are now going to be offering Philips Hue support. So if you're looking to be able to actually synchronize your lighting not only with your build, but your actual ambient desktop lighting, you're going to be able to achieve that. Equally as important, and especially with a Ryzen 2 series processor which supports overclocking and is one of the key features of an X series chipset, is going to be the overall overclocking experience. Now, ASUS boards are definitely known for their overclocking capabilities, and the Strix here definitely gives you a great experience. Whether you want to run stock or overclocked, you can feel confident and you're going to have a stable and reliable system. First and foremost, a robust six fades digital power delivery design, good quality MOSFETs, inductors, and capacitors. You've got a high performance heat sink that's broken across two parts to be able to ensure stable and cool operation even under heavy load. And of course, you're gonna have all the options available to you, whether you wanna go with simple one-touch overclocking available to you in our five-way optimization suite, or if you're one of those tweakers and tuners that really wants to be able to dial in every single parameter, you can jump into the UEFI BIOS to be able to go ahead and take advantage of the deep tuning options that are available to you. Going hand in hand with overclocking is gonna be cooling. And there's a lot of different things to keep in mind when you talk about the cooling flexibility and functionality that's offered to you on a motherboard. And in this respect, the Strix really offers you a lot of flexibility and functionality. First and foremost, you're gonna have tons of headers that are on this board. So if you're looking to be able to have a lot of cooling, you can definitely have that covered, no issues. But there's also the flexibility that comes into play through our advanced fan expert control technology. This is really gonna give you a lot of flexibility so that whether you connect three pin or four pin, so DC or PWM based fans, you can fully go ahead and control and calibrate them. This can all be done in real time, whether it's in the operating system as well as in the UEFI. Also, a really impressive feature is that you have the ability to actually map your fan's response to different temperature sources that are on the motherboard or as part of your system. Traditionally, all fans respond to just the CPU temperature, but in many cases, your actually CPU is not the hottest running part of your system. Actually, for many gaming systems, the hottest running part is gonna be the graphics card. And with Fan Expert 4, you can actually have your fans respond directly to the graphics card temperature, allowing you to have a more targeted and cool experience when it comes to your gaming build. Now, in addition to this functionality, the Strix also offers up some actually hardware designs that are specifically in place to be able to ensure a cooler experience. We've gone ahead and carefully laid out the actual M.2 to be more thermally isolated, and we've also implemented a heatsink based design. Once you place this heatsink directly on your M.2 drive, it can actually significantly reduce its operating temperatures by as much as 20 degrees. This can be extremely important in terms of helping to make sure that your drive runs as fast and as reliably as possible, even under sustained heavy usage. Now, another equally important part of a build is going to be the overall audio experience that the motherboard provides. And this is something that really ROG and the Strix team have really taken to heart in terms of providing an outstanding experience. Now, in terms of the specific hardware design, you've got a fully shielded S2-1220 audio codec, 
We've got dual operational amplifiers, which will work to amplify the audio, not only on your rear level output, but also on your actually traditional front connection, which will be available to you for your chassis. And for those of you that are interested in surround sound customizations, you have tons of options available to you that allow you to go ahead and matrix uh, from stereo sound into multi-channel audio. And for those of you that are, of course, streaming on, let's say, YouTube or Twitch, you can definitely take advantage of our specialized Perfect Voice technology, which will allow you to go ahead and clean up audio, not only on the incoming, but outgoing sides of the fence. Now, going hand in hand with audio is going to be networking. This is really a critical part uh, for any type of motherboard, and especially for a gaming-centric motherboard. So here, we've continued to leverage the Intel NIC, which is really kind of the industry uh, chosen NIC in terms of its overall reliability and performance, especially in UDP performance, which is going to be critical for online multiplayer games. Now, one thing that really makes our implementation special is going to be the support for our Game First 4 packet priority software. In short, what this allows you to do is go ahead and customize whatever you have actively running in the foreground to make sure that that gets prioritized above anything else. So whether that's going to be your favorite streams, or whether that's going to be your latest game that you're jumping into, or of course, whatever you might be downloading or browsing online, you can easily go ahead and make sure that that's getting top of the network prioritization. Now, when it comes to connectivity on the Strix, this board really has all the key connections you could ask for. You've got USB 3.1, both Type-A and Type-C. You, of course, have USB 3.1 Gen 2 connections for the latest generation of chassis as an internal header on the board. And if you've got a standard current chassis, then, of course, you have your standard USB 3.0 header. In addition to that, of course, you've got SATA 6G ports. You've got dual M.2 ports. You have PCIe expansion slots with full support for NVMe protocols for the latest generation of storage devices. And I think probably one of the most impressive points is going to be the fact that the board actually has an integrated I.O. shield. This is probably one of the most common and overlooked pain points when you talk about building a system. You don't have to worry about it as it's pre-integrated on the motherboard. In addition to the simplicity, it's also going to actually help to improve the overall reliability and durability of your build because this is going to significantly improve its overall resistance to ESD or what's called electrostatic discharge. So overall, I think it's pretty easy to see that when you talk about the Strix X470-F Gaming, it brings a lot to the table when you talk about building an awesome gaming system. Whether you're talking about the aesthetics, the audio, the networking, the overclocking, the overall build quality that the board offers, or of course, tons of the flexibility and functionality when it comes to cooling, the board's gonna pretty much cover you any which way. So if you're looking to build an awesome gaming system for the latest generation of Ryzen 2 series processors, you're definitely gonna wanna check out the Strix X470-F Gaming.